What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Rookie Mondays, mm-hmm. the show where we walk you step by step through your financial journey. Mm-hmm. All right, we want to be your financial tutors, and listen, let's kick it off today. So, yo, today we want to talk about budgeting, yeah. right? And budget budgeting is probably the most important step to beginning a financial journey. Like, and it's the most non-sexy step, to be honest. I know, right? I know you're not gonna like it right now, but we, you know, a lot of you guys been hitting us up, a lot of you guys been talking to us about. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get started. So Rel and I sat back and we're like, what's the thing that we did, you know, when we first started? And to be honest, we did this, right? We learned how to budget. Yeah, because you can't jump into stocks, Mm -hmm. real estate, crypto, all of that without having a budget because how are you going to know how much money you have to spend on these different asset classes? Exactly, exactly. So, you know, as he just said, you need to know how much money you need to actually have before you get started, right? But before we start the video, we want you guys to stop right now and go and subscribe. You feel me? Because we we said this last time, but 15%, he's, he's warming up right now. I don't to- know. Like, am I going to hit somebody? What's up? Like, yeah, it's like, nah, it's, it's all love. Nah, please, please. Nah, but 50% of not- you right now, right, have not actually subscribed. So you guys are watching the video, which we appreciate. Thank you. But make sure you hit that button and make sure you like the video, right? Because the more you like the video, it helps the YouTube algorithm actually promote us. You feel me? So... Before we get started, just go and like and subscribe to the channel right now. So let's just kick it off, right? You want to go over some statistics, bro? Yeah, for a fact. Like, bro, did you know mm. that 49% of people are living check to check? Yeah, no, nah, it's... See, that number is, is sad, right? Because a lot of people right now, like, they actually could not survive their their expenses, right? They're like, yo, I need my paycheck and I need my another paycheck to pay rent, to pay car notes, to pay loans. So yeah. that's not they, a good feeling, They're just right? working to live. Exactly, right? And then on top of that... For those of you who actually make money, right, and they're like, yo, this doesn't apply to me, actually, 60% of millennials who make over 100K are still living paycheck to paycheck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, people, millennials living that's making 100K. Yeah. 100K are still check to check. Yeah, and and that actually is across the country, right? So, I know in New York, if you're making 100, you're like, oh, it's not that much, that's why. But this actually applies to people in different states. So, South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, like, if you still make that, 100k reports are actually that 60 percent of you are still paycheck to paycheck which is scary right that's scary bro that's real scary to be honest and to me that just points to the fact that people are probably not budgeting correctly right and then it's like so if you're not (laughs) budgeting correctly you're probably spending more than you earn yeah and to that point actually 55 percent of americans Mm -hmm. right they're actually spending more than they earn which is crazy right because we're dropping these stats at you to make you realize why budgeting is so important, right? So what we decided to do, as, as Rel said earlier, right? We're gonna be your financial tutors. We're gonna walk you through step by step to give you exactly what you need to have, right? So for those of you who have already downloaded our budget template, great job, right? You're gonna to wanna to watch the video, right? For those of you who have not downloaded the budget template, it's actually in the description below. It's completely free. Rel, it's what? Yo, it's, you said it's free? Yes, bro. It's free. Free? That's crazy. Right? So make sure you download this free. template because what we're about to do right now is we're about to actually share the template on our screen and start filling it out with you. Right? With so, you, bro. With you, right? It's exactly. A, we're going to do this together because that's the whole point of Rookie Mondays. It's mm-hmm. hands-on. It's a step-by-step. We're going to be your financial tutor. So yep. like we said, day one is all about budgeting because yep. that's the first step to a financial journey. How much do I even have to spend on investing? Exactly. Let's figure that out today. Let's figure that out today. Word. So, yeah, we made this template. And right now, we're going to give you guys a, you know, a quick second to just dive in. Get that free link below. And let's just dive into it. All right? So, let's do it. All right. So, by right now, you should have already downloaded the template. Because what you see on screen is exactly what you're going to see on a template. Right? This is budget template number one. We have budget template number two that we're going to dive into. But as you can see on the screen, it literally says step-by-step instructions for you, right? So, bro, let's just talk about right now what step number one is for them, bro. Yeah, so step number one, you want to go ahead into cell E11 and type in your monthly salary. How much do you make per month? And this is after taxes are taken out, right? This Mm -hmm. is exactly how much you have per month. Exactly. And and for the sake of this video, what we decided to do, since we're both from New York, we took the average salary, right, of a New Yorker, which is 65,000. And then from that, we just broke it down into the, uh, into the monthly amount, right? So I think that came out to 3,600. Yeah, about that. Right. So literally we were typing 3,600, right? And that actually breaks down right now. You see different things happening, right? So we're going to explain it to you. Essentially, this right here is the recommended budget per month, right? This is what you want to aim for, which is a 50 30-20 split, right? So 50% 
of whatever you make goes towards your spending, right? Then 30% is investments and 20% is saving, right? That was actually a recommended budget by Elizabeth Warren, right? So that's actually in our ebook as well that you could check it out. But basically, that's what you want to aim for, right? So we're going to actually dive into that later on. But let's just step number two so they know what's going on. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. So now you want to go ahead and start typing in your expenses in cell mm -hmm. B11. So you can start with rent. Uh, and right. What what rent should we give them for a person living in New York City? I mean, that should be about fifty k at yeah. least a month. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Honestly, it's tough living in the city. So let's just say you have a roommate, right? That's what a lot of people have. Um, honestly, if you're living in with a roommate in Brooklyn or depending in where in, in New York, I know it's gonna sound crazy. It really would be like nineteen hundred. But for the sake of this, we're just gonna say around fourteen hundred. Depending on you know where you live, you might have more than one roommate. So let's just put down fourteen hundred, right? So yeah. right off the bat, you guys see that a number change happened right in the bottom of total monthly expenses. So this is a cool part about this template. Every single time you add a number into your expenses, the template sums it up for you, right? So you don't have to do any work for yourself. It's all automated. Everything's automated. Exactly, right? So let's just go down the whole list. So utilities, on an average, you're paying about in the winter, you're you know more expensive because like, you got heat and all that stuff. So let's just say on an average, you're paying $8 per month for utilities, right? You don't have a car note. If you do have a car note, obviously put that in there. If you're living in the boroughs, mo like more than likely you don't have a car. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to leave that at zero right now. Cell, cell phone bill. Um, I personally pay like what forty dollars a month. How much you pay? Yeah, I pay sixty dollars a month. And you know, I got the iPhone thirteen. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh man, it's a, li it's a little bit different on my yeah, side. Yeah, bad talk right here. <laughs> you feel me? All right, so let's just average out that fifty. You feel yeah. me? Um, and then we go down to commute. So if you're actually in, you know, New York, it's one twenty five for the metro, right? For the subway. If you're at LIR, right, with the Long Island Railroad, or that you're, you know, in Westchester, it's gonna be a little different. So we're just gonna put that at one fifty right now. Now, depending on how you do you know ubers or whatever you take and now groceries right so keep in mind right now you want to stay at 50 percent of your expenses right on this right column that you're going to see which is your actual budget this is breaking down how much you actually spend versus how much you should which is a recommended of 50 percent. okay so just keep that in mind yeah, as you're so, doing this yeah the way you could think about it is the one on top the recommended budget is just a recommendation that's where we want you to be that's mm -hmm. a goal right but yeah the one on the bottom is where you're actually at that's what we're saying exactly if you, if you don't hit it don't worry about it too much you know it's it, you have to work your way towards that so yeah. groceries the way i do it is i usually go for 400 because i like to eat a lot do a lot of different things he does eat a lot i'm not gonna lie i like to he's eat big, he's big boned <laughs> and what, what about you what, what are you thinking yeah groceries i usually do about 215 about 215 dollars okay. so we'll just do i do 400 so i mean it depends we'll just call it even at 250 right let's just go with it's that different, it's different for everybody if you live by yourself you got a family you got different responsibilities exactly. i don't have kids he doesn't have kids exactly ladies he doesn't have kids oh ladies. man here we go Anywho, here bro. we go <laughs> all right so laundry if you're blessed and you have an in-unit laundry you know we're gonna keep that at zero if you don't have in-unit laundry you have to get a service done whatever it may be Put in a number that you feel comfortable for that, right? Right now, we're just going to leave that at zero because I actually have an in-unit laundry. You have in-unit laundry, so we're good with that one. We don't got to stress on it. You know what I'm saying? But if you have to, you can put in you know, a 25, depending on how you want to do it, depending on how many times you do laundry. Personal care and cleaning products. Remember, this is just a template, guys. Like You guys can change the name. I know you do something different for this. Mm -hmm. This is for me like haircuts or like shower gel or anything I need to like just stay clean, essentially, right? So grooming products. Um, you want to... Put something in for this one, or well, yeah, I usually just separate it, and I have a category from my hair period because mm -hmm. you know getting these twists done, it, it costs a little more than a standard haircut, so yeah, I just yeah. have a separate category for that. Exactly. Uh, um, for this one, honestly, I just pay what thirty dollars per uh, per haircut, and then I usually rock this out at sixty dollars, and then I keep it moving from there. Um, miscellaneous, right? So this is stuff that you don't expect, right? Like new clothes come up that you just you rip, you know, you rip your clothes. I've had suits rip up sometimes. Hospital visits, unfortunately, you know, tire got flat, whatever it may yeah. be, you want to keep this on the higher end of things, right? Like, I don't know what is expected. I always keep this number at 200, personally, right? right? Yeah. So, we're just going to rock that out with 200. And then entertainment, you know, so obviously, you know, we actually make sure we have fun too, you know? Budgeting is not sexy, but it can actually help you be successful, right? So, you want to break that down. Yeah, people think that, oh, I'm making a budget, so I can't live a standard fun life anymore. Like, no, mm -hmm. if you really know fun is a part of your well-being, take yep. care of yourself. Just incorporate it into your budget. And that's what this 
this segment is about. Exactly. So we have a category for entertainment. Right. You know, I don't drink, so my entertainment stuff is low. I don't got to pay a lot of money. Yeah. Because I genuinely don't drink. But some people pay a lot. Incorporate that into your budget. If you spend yeah. 100 on bottles every weekend, write it in. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, that's exactly what I was going to say. I, like, I personally... Honestly, go with the higher end of things. On this one, it depends on how you want to do it. If you want to just write a hundred dollars, you know, per week, that comes up to four hundred, right? Just have a limit. And remember, we're actually going to tell you to go and check your statements, right? Go and actually monitor how much you've been spending the last two months, right? So you can actually figure it out. Yo, am I spending above this amount or am I spending below this amount, right? It's going to make more sense for you guys. So if we mm-hmm. keep that four hundred. Then we love this stuff, Apple Music, right? We have that, like Apple, Netflix. If you listen to Audible, whatever, gym subscriptions, write that down. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes a lot of sense so you could track everything. If you write that down, I think Apple's, what, $10? Netflix Netflix is crazy now. They just increased their prices again on us. I think it's like $15, $17 at this point. Crazy. Right? So <laughs> you, can, you can just put that down at $25 if you want. And then the rest of it, we're going to leave at zero for the sake of this video, right? We don't want it to be too long. But this is extra expensive. If you have loans, right? Right now, which is crazy, the actual debt for student loans for all my students are out there, right? Who graduated have loans? You're not the only one. It's actually 1.57 trillion with a T. That's how much debt we have. That's how much student loan debt we have in the country, man. It's it's sad. So you know, we know that that's a huge part of a lot of people's budget. So mm-hmm. go ahead. That's where you write it in, where it says right. extra expenses. You could. It's this budget template is editable. You can edit. Yeah, you exactly. can edit. It. So exactly. put that in. And, and if you don't know your expenses on certain categories. You mm-hmm. can use an app like Mint or there's another app called like the Spending app. Yeah, I like, can, I like the Spending Tracker. Me too. I use the Spending Tracker app as well. Mm-hmm. That's when I was trying to learn myself. Like, yo, how much do I actually spend on groceries? Mm-hmm. Every time I made a transaction, I would record it. Yep. The app is pretty like self-explainable. So you'll, you'll see. But that's a great app for you to track yourself to learn your actual habits. Exactly. And you see how I just did that? Like I literally typed in loans and it was able to do it. But if not, we're just going to keep that at zero. So right off the bat, right, you see the total monthly expenses is $2,640, right? If you go back to the instructions on top, instruction number three literally says, add in anything that's missing. And then four says, go check out your expenses, right? If the actual color in cell B28 is green, you're good, right? That means you have money left over, right? If it's red, that means you do not have money left over, right? So you have to figure that piece out. We want it to be green, guys. We want it to be green. You feel me? And in this sense, if you look at the actual monthly expenses and it shows 2640, it shows how much you have left. This is the piece where it gets interesting, right? And remember, like we said, 55% of people spend more than they earn. So Yeah, and that's that's the crazy part about it. So as you guys see, right, in this example, in this budget, you're actually spending 73%, right? So 73% of the money you make is going towards expenses. Now, the money that you have left over, you would put that and split it into investing and saving, right? Because that's very important. We talked about investing and how that's very important. We talk about savings. If you guys haven't checked it out, go listen to our other videos. We go all into detail and we're going to take you step by step through that as well. But essentially with $960 left, you might just come here and be like, yo, I actually want to you know, invest 600 of that because I want to see how I close I could get to that 30%. And the remaining amount is 360, right? So you're just going to go in here and put 360, right? And that tells you, Okay, so that means I'm saving 10%, I'm investing 16.6%, right? So that's how easy this template is for you. It's all automated, and you could actually measure yourself to see what you're actually doing versus what the recommendation is. Yeah, and, and we talked about the way to make your investments recurring. You could set mm-hmm. that up right in your brokerage, and if we said we're going to be investing, what, $600? Yep. Automate that. For people who are, who are new to investing, we will dive into that on Rookie Mondays, mm-hmm. but... You could put 600 into the S&P 500. Yep. You could put it into a robo-advisor, and we talked about that as well mm-hmm. on our previous videos. So go ahead and check those out as well. For sure, for sure. And then this is, remember, this is budget template number one, right? So if you have any questions about that, just comment below. But we also have budget template number two, which, Rel, you actually want to talk about, right? Because yeah. I think that's your thing right there. Yeah, budget template number two is, and, and you could even take the expenses straight from template number one. Got you. And, and throw them directly into template number two right quick. Got you. You know, so this is something that that I use using Elizabeth Warren's 50 30 20 strategy mm-hmm. is how I derive like okay, that means that I should invest 60% of my leftover money right and save 40% of my leftover money. Exactly. So this this template here is really easy because once you type in your expenses and your monthly salary, mm-hmm. it it automatically gives you how much you should invest and how much you should save. Yeah. Like we said you could automate that. Right. And so you know, we once we get to a certain amount of savings, mm-hmm. 
you know, how they recommend it between three to six months of savings. Yeah, Some people yeah. recommend 12. That's up to you. Exactly. I personally do it six month, right? And then I actually narrowed it down to three months because at the end of the day, it all d- depends on preference, right? Like I'm trying to be someone who's more investing heavy than saving heavy right now, right? Because the age I'm at. Um, if you're someone who's on the older side of things or just someone who's more cautious, you might actually lean toward what he said about maybe six months, maybe 12 months even, right? Yeah. I know people who have family members, right? Like they like they have a daughter, they have a son, they have an actual family they're trying to grow. At that point, you, you don't want to just run around and be like, I only got two months of savings, right? We talked about how many people don't even have $1,000 saved, right? So it all depends. Yeah, ex- exactly. So you want to calculate the amount of months that's good for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you have a family or something like that, you might want to save a little more than someone without a family to take care of. Exactly. But this is a, my template. Like I said, it just allows you to invest 60% mm-hmm. of your leftovers and save 40%. And it's all automated. So yep. check out template number two for that. It's really easy. One, two, three. Yeah. And honestly, like, as, as he said, remember... If your expenses, if you want to like switch them around, you want to kind of lower your entertainment or you want to lower um, your groceries, you can all put those numbers in into this template. It's going to make it super easy for you, right? So at the end of the day right now, what we want you to do is if you haven't been following along in this video, please stop, download these templates, both one and two. It's completely free for you to check out, right? So now we're just- what? It is free. Oh, all right. Just check it. Yeah. So now we're going to actually talk about some other details with you, why saving is important, why investing is important, and why budgeting is important. But before that, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and download the template, right? So let's just get into it. Congratulations to you on taking mm-hmm. your first step to financial freedom. Yes, sir. Setting up that budget. Yo, bro, can you please tell them, like, what kind of freedom you feel after you set up a budget? Yeah, nah, because... Honestly, at the end of the day, like, as we talk, it's not the sexy thing to do, but it does make you feel a lot better, right? Like, so when I go out now or if I have to help my family with something, my friends with something, like, I know my numbers, right? Yeah. So I don't actually trip or stress over anything because I'm like, I know how much I can spend. Mm-hmm. I know how much is going to investing and saving. It's all automated, Facts. which we will get into, you know, in the next video. But when you automate stuff and you know your numbers, you live a very comfortable life, no matter That's what your fact. salary is, right? Like, That's you, a fact. you can be... Making 65K, you can make it 40K, you can make 150K. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just like, you know yourself. Yeah. I feel like that's the same thing with you, though. Yeah, right? that's that, that's the best. That's my favorite part is like, yeah. once you know your numbers, you just living, bro. Facts. Like, literally, you just live. Like, you don't got to be stressing like, damn, mm. I got to have enough money to pay the bills this month. Yeah. Am I yeah. going to have enough money to take that girl out? Yeah. No, nah, that's a fact. Yeah. Take that girl yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. No, nah. because nah, honestly, that, that does matter, right? Ent- entertainment, all that stuff. Like, when we go on date stuff, you don't want to you don't want to trip. Like, bro, you don't want to be like... Yeah, we can't get that, you know, bottle of wine because yeah. we got to get the glass. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> get the bottle. Like, That's nah. a fact. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, don't do that. Yeah. It, it's honestly a fact, right? Like, we all, I think it's no secret, we all like living you know comfortably right yeah. we don't all want, wake up in the morning oh i can't wait to go to work right that's not the first thing in fact 85 percent of people actually don't like their jobs even 85 percent, bro yeah 85 percent of people don't like their jobs and that's, and that's why it's super important to budget so you can actually save and invest and set yourself up because i was actually just having a conversation with my boy uh if you're watching that like you know shout out to you bro but i was just having a combo with him today like he was like yo i want to save and invest in a business right yeah Keyword there, save, right? Yeah. So you got to know how much to save so you can actually manage your expenses. Like, I got to save a year's worth so I'm safe, right? Yeah. I got to yeah. invest a year's worth so I can double that or something, yeah. right? And, and that's all budgeting. That's a fact. That's a fact. And like you said, investing, we get in that, we get into that next week. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, because... Bro, only 13% of people invest in stocks directly. Which is crazy, right? Because if you think about it, like, we're saying 85% of you guys don't actually like your job. And I'm not going to say you guys. Like, I would count myself in that category. Like, it's not that I hate my job, but it's not like that's not, that's not my dream. It's just, the, it's just you, know? The, the, you know, the process of waking up every morning yeah. and do something at the end of the and day. And I, I think COVID, working from home, it all made us realize something that we that, do value our time so much. Mm-hmm. They right? gave everybody a taste of financial freedom. Exactly. Well, we trying to give them the full course meal. Exactly. <laughs> we trying to give them the full course meal, bro. And, and that's why you guys should really download this template. Check it out. There's no excuses for you guys because we made it super free. We, As we promised you guys, right? step-by-step instructions. Rookie Mondays is going to be all about you guys and helping you actually take your financial freedom even seriously, right? So step number one, congratulations. Y'all did your thing. That's a fact because, listen, like we said, Rookie Mondays, we giving y'all a whole journey to financial freedom, right? Mm-hmm. And so I know a lot of us coming up, we made a lot of excuses right. about why we shouldn't be financially free or why we can achieve wealth. Mm-hmm. But, yo, 88% of millionaires are self-made. 
And you know what's crazy about this? Like when we do our research to find these stats, Rel came to me and he was like, yo, did you know 80% of people are, are you know, self-made millionaires, right? And I was like, nah, that sounds too high. And remember, he said 80, right? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, that's not true. When you actually look it up, nice. Fidelity actually did a whole um, research on this. Fidelity Investments looked at it and it was higher than 80. It's actually 88%. Thanks. That's when I got stuck. I was like, I thought it was 80 this yeah, whole time. Yeah, I didn't even believe it. So if you guys don't believe it, honestly... Go check it right now. Google it right now. Type this in. And you're going to find that Fidelity did a whole research on it. So they didn't just get their money. A lot of people make excuses about that. Right. right? Only 12% is inherited. Right. So if you think about it, the people, and you could do your own research on this, but we're telling you the way they actually did it, they broke it down. They actually worked their butts off. Right. They budgeted. They saved. They invested. It's really that simple. Of course, some of them, you know, they started Facebook and they started, you know, Twitter and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, there are average people just like yourselves who are watching, just like us, who will become millionaires. Yeah, right? bro. I mean, we, we said it uh, last week, too. Like, I don't even know if we said this part, actually. Only 0.03% of players ever make it to the NBA. Yeah. Right? And so yeah. I'm saying that because a lot of us want to be athletes and rappers and yeah. things like those to achieve wealth. You have a way higher chance of achieving wealth through investing. Yeah. Than you do through a sport or through Ooh, singing that's and stuff crazy. like that. that like, now, nah, you got to say that again because that one really – say that again, bro, because that's crazy. It's wild, bro. Only 0.03% will make it to the NBA. The mm-hmm. NFL is even a lower percentage. I mm-hmm. think it's 0.0075% right. that make it to the NFL. So you have a higher chance of becoming a millionaire right, and getting wealth just by investing, which is what we're teaching you than mm-hmm. chasing hoop dreams, right? Because at the end of the day, like, we're not trying to destroy no one's dream. Go after what you love, right? But just be smart with it, you know? You could do know? both at the same time. Yeah. But, but it's like, you just you just know, at least you when you invest, you know you're going to be successful doing that, yeah. following the steps that we're going through mm-hmm. with you week by week. Yeah. And you know we say I mean? to our gang all the time, right? Everyone who's watching, you guys know you guys are family. Like, we love you guys. And if you're going to rock with the Backtalk family, you will be millionaires. We're going to make y'all millionaires. And honestly, like, we know we can't give you guys, like, exact advice because we're not financial advisors, right? We're trying to actually help you out. But to be honest, a lot of the research that we do, right, we're putting in time. So if you follow along, 88% of y'all could actually end up a millionaire, you know? Like, mm-hmm. that's that's really what it is. So mm-hmm. that about wraps up everything in this episode of Rookie Monday, second episode done. Next episode, we're going to talk a lot more about investing step by step. And I know you guys actually asked for this a lot, so definitely check it out. Yeah, because I know a lot of people are scared to invest, man. Right. But listen, we are here for you. Yeah. We're going to walk you step by step starting with next week. So, yeah. listen, I'm excited for it. Yep. Let's get to it. So, that wraps up episode two. Mm-hmm. We're going to catch y'all next time. Yep. All right. Peace. peace.